Here is my VESC. Um, got the controller board. The top board is a power supply. Middle board is for fault tolerance. It does hardware fault detection if there is a over current, over voltage, uh, over temperature, etc. It's all done through discrete logic. Then the bottom board is the VESC main board which contains uh, all the signal processing which goes into the processor and then also into the fault logic board. Everything comes out through a DB25 and then connects in over here to the gate driver board. Two jumper wires coming over to the other gate driver board on the opposite side. Right now I have 150 volt MOSFETs. These will be switched out for 200 volt MOSFETs in the next version. This whole design is set up to work uh, up to 200 volts max. I mean, that's an absolute maximum rating. But um, so probably about 150 volts DC bus. Everything is isolated. And I just got this functioning in field oriented control. Here is the motor. It is a 2212 1000 kV old school quadcopter style motor or slash RC plane motor and as you can see it runs and it actually runs pretty slow surprisingly well in field oriented control completely sensorless <laughs> Just got it all working, lots of debugging in order to get that operating. This is using 200 amp current sensors. So the current going into here is maybe an amp going into the phase. The current sensors are processing just well. All the signals are going across this uh, 25 conductor cable, which hasn't proven to be any problem so far. Of course, it's low voltage. The PWM signals are sent differentially to uh, minimize their susceptibility to noise and uh, more to come. A little tough to start up there, but that's just because it's a high KV motor, I'm suspecting. Haven't even really tried to play around with tuning it yet, but more to come. <laughs>